Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Logistics where we've just determined if we are an up or a down hex and then we need to determine if we go off the map or not but we need to know what our next location is right so that's something that we need to determine if we are going to do this then I think we can go ahead and implement this right now so if j plus no if y plus one is greater than or actually if y plus one equals map x dot count and we want this to be manager dot map dot count Ma manager dot map x dot count so if our y position is going to go off the map and technically because this is a list of rows this is really our X position, and this is really our Y position, but it's fine. It's fine. We don't need to worry about that. We're just kind of awkward. So if we are in this case, then we can just return. It's going to go off the map. Otherwise, we know that we're one of the entrance tiles. Essentially, we can say something along the lines of world hex other hex equals manager dot map x y plus one because we know that that's going to be the case we are incrementing our hang on a moment we are implementing we are incrementing our rows right yeah we are Okay, we're incrementing our rows here, not not our columns, because that's how we should th that's how we should be thinking about this. X is row, Y is column. When we do this, we're looking at a row up, not a column up, a row up. So if X plus one equals manager dot map dot count, then we return. There's nothing more to be done. There's nothing to be done here. We're going off map. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and fix this typo. Perfect. So, otherwise, we're not going off map. So, world hex other map, or other hex equals map x plus 1, because we're going up a row, and then y. So, this is actually i plus 1 and just j. And just to keep this a little bit more clear, I'm going to say x plus 1, y. Okay. Maybe just to make this a little more clear, I should rename this to column and row. Because that's really what these are. Okay. So with that being the case, if column plus one I did it backwards, didn't I? What did I do? X is rows. Y is columns. There we go. Okay. So if row plus one equals manager dot map dot count then we return. We're going off map. Else, world hex other hex equals manager dot map row plus one and column. So that gets us our next world hex. Then we need to get the biome hex that we want in that. Now that biome hex, we know we're going up. So we know that the biome hex that we want is this biome hex right here. This guy. Map hex 37. So, biome hex connected biome, wow, I cannot type, biome hex equals other hex dot biome hexes. Now, this gets us our hex store. So, perhaps we should be going for sub hexes, sub hex manager dot subhexes 37 
We're hard coding that. Reason being, we know for a fact it's going to be that one every time, no matter what. So that gets us our connected biome hex. Do we... Okay, our neighbor is an int 3, right? So we don't actually need to do this. We can just do something along the lines of neighbor, or rather int 3 neighbor equals, this is going to be a new int 3, not much we can do about that, and then this is going to be other hex dot index, or rather hex index. We know that we're going to have biome hex 37 for a fact, and then we know that we're going to have building hex 37 for a fact. Correct? I believe that's correct. And then we would just do biome hexes i dot neighbors dot add. This is a list of int threes. So we would add in biome hexes i dot neighbors. Oh, we need the new building dot location dot building hex. New building dot location dot building hex. And then we add in neighbor. So dot add neighbor. Excellent. Okay. So that gets us our biome, or rather our neighboring building hex when we're going to a new world hex moving northward. Okay. Now we do the same thing for, for 37, and in fact, I'm just going to copy this and then just essentially invert all of the signs. So if row minus one equals, we're, we're actually just going to go with is less than zero here. There's nothing to be done here. We're going off map. This is x minus one. Otherwise, we want to be grabbing row minus one and column. And then our neighbor is not 37, but 21, since it's the exact opposite of this one. And we just add that in. Look at that, we're a third done. So, I mean, we don't technically need all of this anymore. So, we know whether we're in up hex or not, which means that we can do the other two cases. So let's go ahead and figure this out. I'm going to save, clear this, we're going to run it, instantly pause, because we're just messing around with our map generator here a little bit. So, okay, say we're in this hex, hypothetically. We can go up, which would bring us up one row, or down, which would bring us down one row. Now, if we go up here via this exit here, which this exit is number 15, I want to say. I want to say this is 15. We'll check that after this. But assuming that this is indeed 15, sure, we can increment our column and row and end up here. But it, what if we were here? Remember, our row goes like this, which would mean that the next row up would go like this, which would mean that if we want to go up here, if we increment our column, we would end up here. And if we increment our row plus one, we would end up here. Now here, we don't want to do that. We only want to increment our row if we're down. But if we're up, we also have to increment our column for 15. So. Let's verify that that is indeed number 15. I think it is. Yes, that is 15. So we need to go ahead and say, if up hex else, because we have two different things going on if we're an up hex or a down hex. If we are a down hex, then we can simply increment 
our our column. That's all we need to do. So we can go ahead and come in here and just actually no, if we're a down hex, yeah, we can just increment our column. That's all we got to do. So if column plus one equals manager dot map row dot count. There's nothing to be done here. We're going off map return. Else, we can come on down here and we can say we're not going to go off map. So world hex other hex equals manager dot map row column plus one. Okay. And then honestly, we can copy this. There we go. And we're not going to be connecting to hex number 37. We are instead going to be connecting to hex number... Don't remember. This guy right here. 32. We're going to be connecting to 32. And I mean, we could have figured that out by going up here to 15 and being like, oh, 32. Okay. So yeah, 32, 32. Okay. Now, if we are in up hex, we need to increment our column and row. So basically, we need to do this same thing here and copy this on in. Except we also need to add in here and row plus one. Actually, this should be an or, right? If either of them go off map, is it possible for for one to go off map and not the other in this case? So the column and row. Yeah, it is possible. For the column to go off map without the row going off map. If the column goes off map or the row goes off map, though, they're both invalid, right? Yeah, they're both invalid in that case. So if row plus one equals... Are we comparing this to manager? Oh yeah, this is right. This is right. Equals manager dot map. And we want this to be just manager dot map dot count. Like we have it down here. So if either of those are true, there's nothing to be done here. We're going off the map. Otherwise, we increment the row and the column. And otherwise, this is exactly the same. Okay. Now, we're going to have exactly the same code copied into index 32. Like so. Except we are going to be subtracting and we're going to say if it's less than zero or row minus one is less than zero. There's nothing to be done here, so we're going off map. Otherwise, we are going to be subtracting both of these. And then down here, if we're in the down hex, we're going to be doing the same thing, column minus one, right? Is this actually not true? I think this might not be true in, in this case. Let's double check this. Okay, so we are here. We want to go this way in a down hex. So we're actually decrementing both ways. But if we're in an up hex, we just want to decrement. It's, so it's actually inverted. So if not up hex, we'll just invert this this way to make it nice and easy. If it's not an up hex, if it's a down hex, we need to column and row minus one. If it is an up hex and we're going down, then we just do the row minus one. Or rather, just the, the column minus one. Yeah. Okay. So column minus one. And then it does connect to 32. Perfect. So case 15, 
is going to be... Oh, this, need, this needs to be in case 15, not case 10. Hang on a moment. We'll cut this. Place this into case 15. There we go. That was close. So then case 10 and 26 are actually going to be very, very similar. So case 10 is this guy here. So if we are in up hex, which this one currently is... Yeah, this is an up hex because the row goes like that. So if this is an up hex, you can see here that we want to increment our column and our row. So in case 10, or rather we want to decrement our row and increment our column. Because we want to go down one row, correct? Well, we're here, and we're here. No, we're in up hex. We want to just increment our column. However, it is time for me to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to sort this out in the next episode. See you all then.